have had a lot of fun here with Travis, and it's just wonderful to see um, the progress that he's made. Uh, I'm just excited about the wonderful work that the staff does here at Lighthouse Learning Center. Uh, the program is a very loving, nurturing, caring program, and it's a program that utilizes the approach um, that the parents are the expert with their child. And Travis had a, a wonderful support system with his mom and dad um, and the extended family that he had here uh, at Lighthouse Learning Center. It's, it's been a long road, but there's there been a lot of support from, from everybody, from the hospitals, from doctors, the nurses, and home nursing. And then when we uh, got to Lighthouse, the, uh, the support even grew more. Travis was born uh, May 22nd at the uh, University of Florida. He was uh, has been diagnosed with hydrocephalus, so his head was already enlarged, so when they knew they had to take him, they took him by C-section. He was an eight pound baby, but his body was premature size, so his head was over 50% of his body weight. So after Travis was born, we spent a couple of days. He had a shunt put in his head at the University of Florida. Uh, the minor surgery there, and uh, we come home, and Travis developed meningitis and uh, had a, spent about nine months in the hospital from that. And had a, what, three abscess taken out of his head from the meningitis. And from there, we brought him home. When he started coming here, he was, he did not move at all. There was no motion. He has definitely far exceeded all doctors. Um, guess, because it's a guessing game as to where he'll be, how far, what he can and can't do, how far he'll go. And he has definitely far exceeded those expectations. I first met Travis two years ago and um, he came in uh, not talking at all. It is wonderful to see where he is now. He's talking to me like in sentences. He's saying, I want to walk, I want to get out, you know, and when, when, I, when he first came to transport him, we had to put him in a wagon and we put him around in the wagon and to see him today like wanting to hold your hand and walk down the hall, you know, that's big for me, you know. The success on Travis has pretty much been based on everybody that's been a part of his life, and that's, I mean, definitely here at Lighthouse and at home, but this is pretty much his home away from home. When I first came here, I was, I was just amazed at seeing the progress, you know, and the milestones that were achieved for children, you know, and it gives the family hope. And, and that's wonderful, especially when you have a family member that uh, a parent goes before a doctor and the doctor says your child will never be able to do this or never be able to do that. Uh, your child will never be able to walk or talk. You know, and to have the child come into a program and get early intervention and come in and leave here walking and talking. I mean, just imagine what that does to a parent's heart, you know, and it just gives them hope to say that my child can do greater and bigger things than this. And I think that's just a wonderful story that we have here at Lighthouse Learning Center for all the children like Travis that we serve. Very, very, very thankful of um, Lighthouse Challenge Enterprise. It's, I don't think words could really explain the gratitude, the thankful, how thankful we are, the, the care, the support, the love. It goes way beyond what I think you could cover. It's huge.